Hey guys, so this isn't going to be a formal episode today. This is more of an announcement. I need to take some time off from Patterson in pursuit for a mixture of good reasons and bad reasons. The good reasons are that I have been doing a huge amount of research over the past few years. Because I have so much time as an independent philosopher, I get to stay nose deep in research for pretty much the majority of my day. And in doing so, I've reached a point of information overload and paralysis, where there's so much, there's so much synthesis, there's a mixture of so many different areas of thought that I'm incredibly excited about, and I have to sit down and write them out. I'm working on two books right now, a short book on a resolution to the liar's paradox that's more detailed than the short one that's in my book, Square One, The Foundation's Knowledge. And I'm also working on my second full-length book called The Mind and the World, which is establishing sound metaphysical foundations. And for those of you that are interested specifically in philosophy, it's a book that will make the case for substance dualism and answer the interaction problem. So... In the history of philosophy, in the big picture context of what I'm going to be claiming, it's rather big, and it's going to take some time to get just right. I'm also writing a course on how to write nonfiction in a way that people want to read. I've noticed that online, on places like Coursera, there are writing courses, but it's like how to write to impress people, and how to write flourishes, and how to be rhetorically persuasive, and how to write poetry. I didn't see anything on how to write to communicate ideas clearly. So I also am, am writing that. Plus, I've also got a huge amount of work to do in the philosophy of mathematics and the history of mathematics, something that sounds as boring as can be, but is actually completely fascinating and taking up really the majority of my thinking time is thinking about math. So put all together, I have a lot of really exciting work to do. Now, the not-so-good reasons is that my wife and I have been dealing with some medical issues for the past few years, and just over the last couple of months, they've gotten significantly worse. Fortunately, she has also been doing a huge amount of independent research and may be on to finally finding a resolution to our problems. So if that's the case, you guys will definitely be hearing about it because it might not just fix us, it might fix quite a lot of other people, but we also have to take some time to recover. I don't know how long that's going to be. Could be anywhere from a month to a few months. I don't know. But it's reached a point where it's big enough where I really have to focus on getting healthy. So that being said, I am definitely coming back to Patterson and Pursuit. I love doing what I'm doing. I love the interviews. I really think that I pretty much have the best job in the world. I am the luckiest philosopher who has ever lived. Given the technology that we have nowadays, and given a funding platform like Patreon, which allows a ridiculous amount of flexibility in the ideas that I'm researching and the work that I'm producing. The way that I've got it set up, if work isn't being produced, then nobody gets charged for anything. So the system works where when I post something, an article or a video or podcast, then my supporters get charged. But if I don't produce anything, they don't get charged for anything. So this is great for you guys because you're not going to feel like you're sending me money, even though I'm focusing on my health right now and not producing philosophy. And it's great on my end because I don't feel any guilt or any pressure because if I need to take time off, it will cost you guys exactly zero dollars. When I come back... I'm going to have some awesome interviews already scheduled and likely already recorded. You guys have sent me a huge list of potential interviewees. I'm reaching out to them and contacting them. I'm going to do the interviews when I can, and this series is going to be taken even to the next level. So that's all that I wanted to say. I have to take some time off, and the world traveling has officially ended. So it's a great time to pause Patterson in Pursuit indefinitely so that other things can be focused on. All right, so thanks, everybody, for your support. Really appreciate all the nice emails you guys have been sending me of late. I'm glad that this show has created value for you. I'm very glad that you've been able to join me in my own pursuit of truth. I hope that I have been able to contribute to your pursuit of truth, and I will talk to you guys sometime in the future.